How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Video. Today I want to show you how to get free apps on the Galaxy Tab 2 7.0. And to do that, I'm going to show you two app stores that you're going to be able to download that are going to get you free apps, more free apps uh, than you will get from the uh, Google Play Store. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to download the Amazon App Store. The Amazon App Store is really awesome, and I'm going to show it to you right now. But first, I'm going to show you how to download it. Now, to get to this, you're going to go to www.amazon.com slash get app store. Okay? www.amazon.com slash get app store. Okay? Now, we'll also have the um, link in the uh, notes section of the video, so you can just click on the link and that will take you here as well. This is the page that it will take you to when you go to that. Let me go back one just to make sure um, that link is exactly correct. Yeah, www.amazon.com slash get get app store. Want to make sure it's right. Sometimes you say the wrong thing, people can't find it, so want to make it easy. You're going to tap download the Amazon app store. And as you tap that, it's going to ask you to save as, just press OK. And it will begin to download. And if you just pull from the top, and you'll see that um, Amazon apps dash release dot APK. Uh, look for that one. It looks like some of my apps are updating. That's why I have so many here. But you'll have one specifically that says Amazon Apps. You're going to tap on that one. It says, do you want to install this application? We're going to tap Install. And it will begin to install the Amazon App Store. Which usually is going to happen pretty quick just depending on your internet connection. We're going to tap Open now. All right, and so here we are, and you will have to put in your email address and your password. So uh, that's if you have an account with Amazon already. If you don't have one, you'll want to tap create an account, and you will be able to create your own um, account uh, on here. It's free, but it's just uh, they want you to have an account with them. Uh, as well as you do need to have a credit card on file. They do have tons and tons and tons of free apps. But uh, they do require you to have a credit card on file, so just FYI. So let me go ahead and put in my information first, and then we can um, move from there. All right, so I just entered my uh, code in there. Sorry about that. Just entered uh, my email address and password, and it's taking me right to the main screen. Now, again, um, you will have to tap the uh, play those button that said create an account. If you don't already have an account with Amazon, if you do, you just put an email address, password, it will take you right in. Now, let me kind of show you why this is cool, and specifically why I had you guys download this to get free apps. Amazon does a very unique thing, their Amazon App Store. Every day, they actually give you a free app. Every day, they take a paid app, and they make it free. Now, it is not any app. It is a specific app they choose every day. So, all you will have to do is... Um, Come to the app, just open the app, which is you'll have an icon now that says Amazon App Store. And the app that's to the left, which is usually right here, today it's Jones on Fire. It says today's free app of the day. So if you free, if you miss it, it's right there in uh, lettering. This is always the free app. Okay, so I'm just going to tap it. And when you tap it, you will have a chance to take a look at it. And you can read a little description. I normally don't dig too deep into it. I just get it because it's free. Just putting it out there. So we'll tap free. And then you tap get app. And it tells you the app actually costs $1.99. But you get it for free today. So there it is. It is downloading right now. And in a second it will be on the tablet. And there it is. Installing. Tap install. And now we have a free app. So every single day, all you have to do is open the app and download the free app. Okay? Now they do have other apps as well. There's probably a couple they have that you won't find in the Google Play Store. For the most part, though, any app that's in one store is in the other. But the difference is, again, here we are getting a free app every single day. So uh, multiply one day by the year, 365 days, that's 365 free apps. 
okay, that were paid apps. So this is one way that we are going to get some uh, free apps. I'm going to go back home because I don't want to play that right now. But um, and it's seasonal, so during different holidays they'll have like holiday type apps. I've downloaded some really cool things just you know catching the free ones. So definitely encourage you to um, do that because hey, free. Let's see where's our icon. It didn't it didn't create an icon for it. That's okay. We're gonna go to apps and we're gonna look for the one that says Amazon. Amazon App Store. It's not on this page. And it's not on this page. It says on this page. And it looks like this. It's orange. It says Amazon and it says App Store. Okay. Now I'm gonna open it up one more time because I want to show you one more cool thing about it. Now there's one there's one thing specifically that, that the Amazon App Store lets you do that you cannot do in the Google Play Store. You also cannot do in the um, Apple App Store, okay? Is a feature called Test Drive. And what Test Drive does, it will actually let you test out a paid app before you buy it. So maybe if you want to see, hey, is this app good? I don't know. Let me try it first before I pay the money. Because you cannot return an app once you've bought it on the Amazon App Store. Um, so, like, some of these are free. But let's find a paid one because that's when it's fun. It's fun when it's something we normally would have had to pay for. And I just tapped on sketch and draw. I don't want that. I'm gonna keep looking. And all the free apps in here. That kind of defeats the purpose of test driving it. Alright, let's see. Let's keep looking. There's gotta be something in here that you have to pay for. Oh, Dredge of Mall, that's pretty cool. Skin Pro for Minecraft, okay. All right, here we go. Phase ten. This app is normally ninety nine cents, and we can tap test drive, and it says launching test drive. And so again, we're gonna have a chance to actually play it, and then you can decide how much you like it. And if you like it, you can go ahead and buy it. And if you don't, you can return it. And you have a timer up here, so you actually only get ten minutes to test it before um, that runs out and once that runs out then um, you basically um, that's it you can't you have to make a decision if you want to buy it or not I'm not gonna play it but I just want to show you that we're actually in the app and we're actually able to uh, again actually use the app for 10 minutes before we actually commit to buying it so um, anyway that's that so that's the Amazon App Store and that is a free app every single day so um, definitely download that because the more the merrier with apps, I always say. Now, here's the second part to getting free apps. There's another app store we're going to download, and it is called One Mobile Market. Okay, so we're going to go to the internet, open that up like such, and let's open a new tab. You're going to type in the number one and then mobile m o b i l e market dot com okay the number one mobile market dot com and that's wrong so it's important that i find out what the correct <laughs> address is so we'll just type in one mobile market sorry about that you know sometimes websites will change uh... their address and whatnot so it's onemobile.com. That's what it is. I knew I was close. Okay. The number one mobile.com. I also have that link in the description as well. But for now, let's go ahead and just tap on it here. But you can know, type in onemobile.com and look right here. The first thing you see on the page is hey, download now. 400,000 free Android apps direct download. Okay. So, you know what to do. We're going to tap download now. And what, what, well, let's tap it again. I guess maybe it didn't work. Okay. There we go. Oh, it just started downloading. Okay. So pull down from the top, pull down your menu. And now you'll have uh, one of the downloads will say One Mobile Market dash one APK. Tap on that. It'll ask, do you want to install this? Tap install. 
Now, there's one thing it didn't ask, and this is a problem you guys may run into when you're trying to install these app stores. You will first have to do this. I think it's already set on this tablet, that's why you didn't I didn't run into the problem in here. But let me show you. So settings, go to your settings, and you will have to go all the way down to security. And then you have an option here that says unknown sources. Allow installation of non-market apps. Okay, now my box is already checked. That's why the tablet didn't ask. But for some of you guys uh, that may not be aware of this, when you try to download those app stores, it's going to ask you, uh, one, it may say that it's going to block it, or two, it may say, do you want to check this? Now, what I recommend is that you check this temporarily. We're going to just check it, then you download the app store, and then you uncheck it after. Okay, because it does keep you safer to not have this uh, checked all the time. So just an FYI, some of you guys may have been frustrated a few minutes ago. It's not downloading. That's why, simply because this box was not checked. So check it and then uncheck it when you finish. Okay? All right, so we'll go back to one mobile here. And so again, this is a full app store with tons and tons of free apps. Okay, so... Definitely will say look through here and look for a lot of your favorite apps. And you're going to find a lot of them, a lot of them, a lot of them for free in this app store. So just take a look through. Again, 400,000 is a lot of free apps. Okay? So this has been how to get free apps on your Galaxy Tab 2 7.0. And I hope it has been helpful. Um, sorry for explaining late about that one issue which is the unknown sources because some of you guys may have had that problem earlier on as you're watching the video that's why you always watch the video first before you follow the instructions to make sure you get all the information but i want to lecture you on that hope you guys found this helpful make sure you like the video if you did find it helpful subscribe to htech videos check out our new website htechvideos.com um it is We've had a website for a while, but again, we remodeled it so that it will look nicer, a little more user-friendly for you guys, and it's easier for you guys to get to the videos that you want to see. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Take care, and have a good one.